And Mr. Speaker, members of the House and Senate, fellow cabinet members, and justices of the Supreme Court, mindful of the economic opportunities that lie before us, understanding the environmental challenges that require our attention, and conscious of our obligations to education and public safety, I consider myself blessed to stand before you at this particular moment in our history as Florida's 46th governor. To each and every one of you, I'm grateful for your willingness to serve. I'm also proud of the accomplishments of our state and its citizens. And I'm optimistic that this legislative session provides us with a unique opportunity to advance needed reforms in a variety of different areas that will strengthen our state and benefit the people now and in the future. And having spent three terms in a different legislature, a prison that I call the U.S. House of Representatives, it's quite a privilege to actually be able to work with a legislative body that has demonstrated the ability to get things done and to lead. And I know, <laughs> and I know because I've already seen it firsthand. Two years ago, the legislature here unanimously passed a resolution acknowledging and apologizing for gross injustices perpetrated in the middle of the last century against four African-American men, Charles Greenlee, Walter Irvin, Samuel Shepard, and Ernest Thomas, also known as the Groveland Four. The resolution requested that the governor review the cases and issue pardons for these men. Upon taking office, I took action. Joined by our cabinet members, I approved pardons for all four men a few days into my term. It is never too late to do the right thing. Now in the gallery today is, is Carol Greenlee, the daughter of Charles Greenlee, if she stands and recognizes. Now her father passed away in 2012, but I hope that he, as well as the rest of the Grovewood Four, uh, is looking down with some satisfaction that justice, however imperfect, eventually prevailed. And that we here today are united in insisting that the constitutional protections central to a free society are honored for all of our citizens.